We're speaking with Florence from Winterthur, Switzerland. Florence has two children in Helen Drone English. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Okay, what are their uh, names? He's five years old and one two and a half years old. Five and two and a half. And what is the five-year-old's name? Is it a girl or a boy? It's a boy. His name is Erwan. Erwan. Okay, very nice. And the two and a half-year-old? So, so his name is Anthony. He's three in March, so he's a little bit more than two and a half, yes. Very nice. And, and what programs are they in right now? So Erwan, the five-year-old, is in a More Jump with Joey. Uh-huh. And Anthony, the younger one, is in a Fun with Floop. Very nice. Are you happy with Helen Drawn English? Yes, we like it a lot. It's been now uh, two and a half years that my older son has asked uh, to learn English. Mm-hmm. And therefore, I selected this course because we are very lucky that we live in a city where uh, there is a school uh, for this. And um, I, uh, I then, of course, when I had the second boy uh, and uh, when I brought my first boy to the classes, the second boy, when he was around two years old, asked uh, to also go to a class. So he, saw, he saw his brother was enjoying it so much, he decided he wanted to learn English too? That's exactly it. He wanted to uh, also watch a little uh, cartoon and also uh, play in a, in a class. And he wanted to copy his brother, mm-hmm. uh, which for me was perfect because uh, I didn't have to convince him. Uh, so that was a very good uh, thing that my first son enjoyed the classes so much. Uh, enjoyed the little cartoons at home, the, the music, the CDs. Uh, and for me, it was really uh, easy then. Uh, the second one is just following, like if it's, uh, if it's all about playing and a game to learn a, a language. That's a great way to learn a language, isn't it? Yes, it's uh, a very, uh, yeah, very um, playful way. Uh, for them, it's not even about learning. It's just about playing. And they're learning a huge amount of vocabulary. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also uh, what is really incredible is that they are learning to, to uh, the grammar without realizing it. So uh, yesterday, for example, my, my son um, was looking for a, a toy in the, the whole house and he couldn't find it. And then he, when he found it, he came to us and we are both uh, French-speaking parents. We only speak French at home. Ah, wonderful. And he came to us and he said, I have found my toy. And I thought this is a perfect <laughs> use of the, of the past tense. <laughs> And uh, it's, it's just incredible. It's not, when we learn English, when we are 11 or 12 year old in school, uh, in any countries, uh, to learn the past tense is, uh, is difficult. Everybody speaks with the present tense at the beginning. And here is my five-year-old who, who will use the perfect past tense. And, uh, and I thought, why is he speaking English to us? And he, just, he enjoys it so much that sometimes he speaks English to us. So they're picking it up naturally and easily, it sounds like. Yes, they're picking it up uh, with a perfect accent, with a perfect grammar, without realizing that uh, there is a lot of effort behind it that they are not uh, feeling because they're, all they are doing is playing for them from their, their mind and their little world in their head. Um, you know, there's a lot of competition in your area, including private tutors. There are other English classes for children. Um, why did you choose Helen Derone and how do you think it's different from other English classes? Um, so first of all, I heard about uh, this uh, concept and this school mm-hmm. uh, whilst I was myself going to a, a school in the evening to learn German. Ah. And in the class, there was a lady a student mm-hmm. who was an Hélène Doron teacher. So she was uh, trying to improve her German uh, capability by going to these evening classes. Ah, but she was an English Hélène Doron teacher in uh, Dietlikon, which is a city about uh, 10 kilometers from Winterthur, where we live. Mm-hmm. And she told me all about it. And uh, I was very impressed by the, the methodology and the concept. And of course, I read about it. At that time, my, my son was only two and a half, my mm-hmm. first son. Mm-hmm. And uh, I read about it on uh, Wikipedia, on the internet. Uh, I read about the, the, the similarity be- between the, the method, which was... Um, developed from a a Japanese uh, method for learning the violin. That's correct, Suzuki. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And I thought this is really interesting. And then I read uh, how uh, expanded the school was around the world. And I thought this is an incredible, uh, 
incredible thing that they have created. Wow, so and you've, you've I want really to, I want to try. And then before I even tried, I talked a little bit to my son about it, I must say. And then a few weeks wow. later, um, a child uh, went into the, the, my son was in daycare at the time. He was uh, almost three. Mm -hmm. And uh, a child came into the daycare from uh, the United Kingdom. Ah. And, uh, the, the parents were um, Indian and were uh, speaking uh, English with their son. Uh, and also uh, some some in, um, Indian language, I guess. Mm -hmm. And uh, that boy then uh, got very friendly with my son, and uh, but could only speak uh, English with him because he had not learned German yet. He had just arrived in uh, in Switzerland. He had he didn't know any German, and my son could not communicate with him because uh, he didn't know English. And that evening he came home. That's the first day that he met this boy. He came home and he said, "Mom, I want to learn English." And he was three years old. Wow, three years old, and he understood the importance of being able to communicate yes. in his friend's native tongue. Exactly. And he said, I want to learn English. And I said, why? And he said, because there is a boy in my daycare who speaks English, and I don't speak English. And I need to speak so that I can play with him. And I was, wow, this is interesting. <laughs> and uh, and then I remi remembered that I had this friend who had talked to me about the school. This was only a month or two before that she had mentioned the school to me. And obviously, this connected in my head, and I straight away uh, looked a little bit more into it. I uh, looked mm -hmm. on the internet and mm -hmm. made some phone calls, and then I realized there was a school in, in our city. And I thought, this is incredible, the luck we have. Yes, and I didn't really. think <laughs> twice about it. I just uh, straight away, I called, and I said, I need to register my son. Thank you very much, Florence. I really appreciate it, and have a wonderful weekend. Thank you. Bye-bye. You too. Slender, run, English radio, worldwide, online.